So as most of you in the channel have come to terms with the my link not working, the screen not working or going black or whatever, I did do, you know, disconnect the battery, let that sit for 10 minutes, the remove the battery, leave it for five minutes, close the door for five minutes, or all that seemed to work. But I noticed more and more as the MyLink screen was disappearing, it would look like the video was shorting out. So since these cars are more computer than cars, I figured out that could be a grounding problem. So what I did was, and to make a long story short, it actually fixed the situation in my situation. This could fix yours, I don't know, but this worked for me. So you're gonna have to get, first off, a seven millimeter uh, socket, and then you're gonna go under here, underneath the glove box, and take this off. Now, when you're taking this off, when you drop the second bolt, remember to not pull on it because your light is attached to this. So be very careful when you drop the second bolt that you don't break this cable. And then after that, you're gonna take this part off, the, uh, I guess the threshold, and you're gonna start from what I advise is start from back here and just peel it up. It's gonna be really difficult to do. It's gonna sound like you're breaking things, but don't, don't freak out, it's, 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 it's gonna come out. So just start from the back. You might wanna stand up when you get to here and just rock it back and forth and pry it more on this side and it'll pop off. So when that pops off, you move that to the side. And then the HMI is located. It's actually very easy to get at. I didn't have to move it all that much. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. Let's see if you guys can see this or not. The back there. There it is. Okay, you see where these plugs are back here? That's the HMI. So what I did was I popped each one off and then reconnect it. And then, lo and behold, I hit the accessory button and it came up. So I'm thinking, let's see if it'll even work now. So I'm thinking, one of the wires just popped off and I put it back on. And of course, that's not gonna show now because that's my luck. So anyways, um, okay, now I'm gonna feel real dumb if this doesn't work. There it is. So from what I gathered, the way the screen was flickering, it looked to me more like a short than anything else. So what I did again was go into the HMI, pull all the cables and then reconnect them.